That is a lovely cold cathode x-ray tube you got there. Why, thank you. Did you notice these lovely colors? I did, yeah. Is this from the radiation? Constant exposure of the radiation, yeah. yeah. That explains why this is over here, I guess. Nice. Yes. Science is so transparent. <laughs> X-rays, imaging technology, they have changed a lot over the years, but they've decreased the need for invasive surgeries. One major study showed CT scans can change diagnoses so much that some doctors completely reverse their positions. Wilhelm Röntgen stumbled across the X-ray tube in 1895 when he noticed a phosphorescent glow coming from a screen in his lab. He took an X-ray image of his wife's hand and noticed her skin was transparent. TFI has a portable x-ray device designed by William Coolidge, who modified the x-ray tube and created powerful, consistent, and guidable x-ray generation. X-rays are part of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's above ultraviolet, so it's a higher frequency, shorter wavelength, but below gamma rays, which would make the Hulk. Basically, a high energy light bulb or flashlight is what an X-ray is, but instead of making visible light that our eyes see, it makes high energy light, which is enough to penetrate our flesh, but not enough to penetrate our bones. So let's take a look at the historical high points of X-rays and imaging technologies, because they come a long way. For example, in photography, the original X-ray is sort of like a 2D silhouette in the 19th century, where you just see the side of somebody or just face on. Today, we have 3D VR videos, and it's sort of a similar technology. In 1945, nuclear magnetic resonance, aka MRIs, were invented, and they're basically like radio waves, which are low energy, low frequency waves, added to big magnets that allow you to see inside a human body. In 1956, ultrasound was invented that uses high-frequency sound waves, similar to a sonar for the body. In 1957, fiber optic endoscopes were invented. It's like a camera plus a flashlight. The fiber optics would carry visible light inside of the body. In 1972, British engineer Godfrey Hounsfeld invented the CT scan. The Franklin Institute gave him a medal in 1977, two years before he received the Nobel Prize for the very same work. By the end of the 20th century, prenatal ultrasound becomes routine. Trace just finished doing one of those. I just had a kid, so I had a bunch of these. It was so cool. In 1973, we get PET scans. Low-level radioactivity is added in a dye that essentially tells us if tissue is normal versus abnormal. And the scanning happens with the same technologies as in the past, MRI or CT scans. Dr. Margaret Marnon and Dr. Henry Captain won a Franklin Institute award for their ultra-fast laser x-rays. Their discovery reduced high-intensity lasers from room size to tabletop. The x-ray of tomorrow is the angio-CT technology. It combines the CT technology we've been talking about with angiography and fluoroscopy in one unit. Basically, it's an x-ray plus CT scan plus MRI plus the dye all together. It's amazing. And on top of that, it uses machine learning so they can guess where problem areas might be. So, the debate. What do you think, honestly? Honestly, I mean, I think it would be incredible to see inside the human body for the first time without having to cut the body open. But there's something amazing about where we're going. I mean, that was where I was going to go. The future, I would say, full stop, is amazing. Not just because of the things we can see, and there are so many more of them, but also it doesn't kill you while you're looking <laughs> at it. You know, he x-rayed his wife's hand so many times that she started to have problems with her hand. Right. 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 So I think x-rays, as amazing as they are, aren't quite as ingenious as using radio waves, ultrasound, and, and machine learning to try and see inside the human body. I mean, you got a 3D image of your baby's face. That was crazy. In a womb. It was inside my wife. <laughs> so wild. <laughs> Blew my mind. <laughs>